This is a video to show what we as one as apostolics believe concerning the nature of God. We believe that there is absolutely one God, not in unity, but in number. He alone is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and of all of mankind. According to the scriptures, we believe that Moses believed God to be our father. We believe that Isaiah believed God to be our father. We believe that Malachi believed that the one God who created us is our one father. We also believe that Jesus Christ believed God to be our father. According to the scriptures, we believe that Jesus taught that God our father is the only true God. We believe that, taught, that Paul taught that there is one God, the Father. We believe that Jude taught that the only God is our Father. We believe that God our Father is by nature a spirit and therefore is omnipresent. He can be in heaven and on earth at the same time. We believe that the Holy Spirit is not another co-equal person beside God our Father, for God declares that the Spirit is my Spirit. The prophets and the apostles also declare that the Spirit is His Spirit. As our Spirit is not separate from us, neither is God the Father's Spirit separate from Him. We believe that God our Father pours, puts, and gives His Holy Spirit to all believers that come to Christ. The Spirit doesn't come to us on its own accord, but God our Father gives it. We believe that the Holy Spirit is God our Father. We believe that the Son of God is not eternal, but was prophesied about in the Old Testament and was born of a woman in the New Testament. We believe the reason why Jesus is called the Son of God is because the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and the power of the highest overshadowed her. We believe that the phrase Son of God refers strictly to God in the flesh. We believe that the word of life and not a son, is that which was with or pertaining to God in the beginning. All life is from God, and we believe that there is a reason why John uses the terms word and word of life. We believe that God our Father manifested, him, manifested was manifested in the flesh, and while in the flesh, he still exists outside of the incarnation. In short, we believe that there is no other God but he who is called our Father, and that this one God added to his omnipresent existence the nature of humanity, so therefore he exists as Father outside of the Incarnation and Son inside of the Incarnation. God sent his Spirit to dwell within all who come to him, that they may be the sons and daughters of God. God bless.